representatives of nine American Chinatowns, and Esther and Bernie Wong represented Chicago. Uh, LA was there, Seattle, Oakland, uh, New York, uh, Boston, Philly, and, uh, and Honolulu. And we thought it was important to, to get together to talk about, well, how are our Chinatowns alike? How are they different? What can we learn from each other? Right? How can we examine uh, the best practices? Whether it's organizing or development or, or politics or what have you. So uh, it was out of that sort of convocation that later on capacity formed as a national organization, a uh, hundred members strong, right? And Seema has done a great job as executive director. Because we knew that if we did a national thing, it should not just be Chinese. It had to be Asian American and Pacific Islander. Uh, nevertheless, the Chinatowns uh, of the country continue to sort of compare notes uh, and learn from each other. Uh, and sometimes there's a little rivalry. Uh, you know, I don't want to deny that. Uh, Chicago and us both hate New York, right? I mean, I mean they're so arrogant. Uh, <laughs> In terms of size, it's always been you know, San Francisco and New York. Right? New York is actually the biggest, but I tell my friends in New York, you will never be the first. We will always be the first. Kind of time. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I'm probably overgeneralizing here, sort of the mid-sized Chinatowns, right? Oakland, the International District in Seattle, uh, Boston. Philly, Chicago, uh, and our, you know, our Midwest Chinatown is different. Uh, I don't know. One of the common themes that we talked about in 1985, uh, because that was a heyday of a lot of displacement, right, real estate pressures, evictions affecting all of our communities uh, across the country, uh, and many of us because the Chinatowns were located right next to downtown. Right. But the fact is, Chinatown was there first, right? We were there first, before there was a financial district. But nevertheless, uh, we suffer from that proximity because uh, downtown always wants to try to encroach. And sometimes with the local uh, co-conspirators, if you will, property owners or Chinese developers who want to make more money on their property because affordable housing uh, isn't as lucrative. So we compared notes with the other Chinatowns about how to deal with that uh, very fact, displacement of inner city communities uh, affected by development coming from downtown. Chicago is different. And I've read a few articles in fact, one was titled Chicago, Chicago Chinatown, The Exception. Right? And as Esther had said, uh, and you have the new wonderful coalition of Chinese Americans in Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Uh, where's Grace? Grace is here somewhere? Oh, she had the meeting. Uh, a coalition uh, that was formed fairly recently, right? Okay. Uh, developed a new master plan. Uh, I'm going to meet with some of them Monday to talk about the future. The, the fact that you have been somewhat insulated from uh, gentrification and evictions uh, uh, does not mean that there, that there may not be threats in the future. Uh, and I, I'm no expert, but there seems to be a lot of potential threats, a lot of new development being proposed. Right, this Project 78 thing, 10,000 units. Right, the roadway that's going to connect Chinatown with the loop uh, where you started. Right, uh, what does that mean you know, for, for your future? Right, uh, is market rate housing, a new market rate housing, a good thing or a bad thing? Right. Do you have folks that you want to attract to this community? Empty nesters, for instance. Or, or maybe middle class family you know, uh, who want to be close to Chinatown, but uh, and they don't want to be stuck in the suburbs anymore. Uh, on the other hand, 
Are they going to be overwhelmed by techies and, and millionaire investment bankers uh, who want to be trendy? That's it. And they want to say, oh, I want to live in Chinatown. And arrive the, the red line uh, to to Wall Street. I mean to, to uh, Michigan Avenue. Right? There are no easy answers to those questions. Right? But, but having sound uh, demographic population projections, know the real estate, know who owns the real estate, you know who is buying, who's selling, is really critical. Really critical. The role of I don't know how many of the new developments are Chinese. You know, developers or not. Right? Uh, but I understand it's, it's a very right time for this community. Uh, you have a new uh, <coughs> alderman. Is it alderman? Yeah. Uh, and there have been a lot of meetings talking about the future of this community.